What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. Today we're here to talk about automatic focus and automatic exposure as it relates to the Google camera app. Now, if you've used the Google camera app, you may have noticed both of these terms abbreviated as AF and AE respectively. The Google camera app automatically performs these functions to simplify photography for the average user. However, sometimes simply pointing the camera at an object doesn't give us the desired focus or exposure. In these situations, we want to make manual changes to focus and exposure. Now before we get into this tutorial, I want to thank Kylie M for mentioning this tip. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So both AF and AE work in all Google camera modes except for panorama, photosphere, playground, and lens. Simply open one of the supported modes and point your camera at the object you wish to take a picture of. Now tapping on the screen automatically adjusts your focus and exposure depending on where your subject is located in the field. Tapping on the screen also brings up the exposure control. Now as you can see, this is a software slider, so if we drag it one way, it's going to make the image brighter, and if we drag it the other way, it's going to make the image darker. So we're gonna play with this a little bit and we're gonna tap on the green Android here. And you can see we have that auto focus. That's pretty good, but I wanna make the exposure a little bit darker. And then once we do that, we can actually lock all our settings here by pressing the lock in the top left hand corner. And that's going to lock everything. And now we can go ahead and take our picture. So final thoughts. Adjusting focus and exposure are important for taking good photos and videos. The Google camera app does this automatically, but it's not perfect. Sometimes we have to make manual changes to the focus and exposure to get the desired outcome. Now this is something that's easy to overlook because the Google camera app does it automatically for us. Now this just shows us that software is really, really good, but it's not perfect. And it also tells us that we have to be more aware of what we're doing if we wanna get the desired results we're looking for. So that's pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Comments may also be featured in my Instagram stories, which is my way of showing my appreciation. Now there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything that you do buy from the storefront does support the channel. The next way to support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to support the channel is just by clicking that subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the channel. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers. If new viewers see lots of likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the videos are helpful and the channel is worth watching. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out.